Hey guys, it's Bookie Book Book. Wait, no, it's Chelsea from Bookie Book Book. Oh god, disaster already. And I have not filmed in months. And there are three main reasons why I've not filmed, and my throat is going to be really crackly in this video, so we're just going to have to bear with it. Three main reasons why I've not filmed. Number uno. Um, basically, when I was filming the first part of my bookshelf tour, like two days later, I got tonsillitis, which is bad enough, you know. But then the tonsillitis basically turned into glandular fever or mono. I don't know why I did that, which is called mono. Some people call it mono. And, um, yeah, so basically that wiped me out for like two months. And that sucks. Basically, I couldn't do anything for those two months. I couldn't even read because I couldn't, my brain didn't like focus it and all stuff like that. And, then, basically, I was, I got sick because I was stressed out because I was waiting for my exam results and then my exam results told me that I got into university. Yep, so I now go to University of Reading, which obviously isn't here, which means I'm not near my books to film them. Um, which was heartbreaking, leaving all those books nearly broke into my heart. Um, but yeah, so I've been there and I've, I've just not had time to film much and then Number three, you might be catching a glimpse of, I broke it my arm. So yes, I broke my arm, which sucks, but it means I've come home a week early from uni. Which means I am back now to film, and you should be getting the rest of your bookshelf tour at some point. It's just the fact that holding a camera is slightly difficult at the moment. But you will get it, don't fret. And also, the book, I mean, you didn't get it straight away because the bookshelf tours were a bit bookshelf. No, the bookshelves were a bit of a mess because I had been rummaging through them to decide which books to take with me to uni. Um, so I had to sort out those. Oh, I'm in a new location in my room. I am in my room. My books are just there. Well, not just there. They're up over the other side of my bed in there. But it's easier for me to film here. So we're moving on quickly because this is about the sixth time I've tried to film this now. So, yes, moving on. Today I am doing a... <coughs> Hmm, what does it say up there? A thingy tour. Uh, no, a. I'm doing what books I need to read. <laughs> that was terrible. That was actually me generally forgetting. Genuinely, not generally. Um, I've got seven books here, and these are the books I'm going to try and read over Christmas because they've been sat on my shelves for so long. Or just, there's several reasons why I just need to get to these books. And there's also two honorary books that I just want to read over Christmas. Or two honorary series, really. Um, right, so getting started. These are in no particular order. Mostly because they're all shuffled out of place because of how many times I've tried to film this. First one is the one... And I'm doing this because I saw quite a few requests for it in the comments, so... Yay! And then I think ne my next video, which will probably be uploaded next Friday, will be... Um, books I want... No. Books I want to get. So books I'm hoping to get over Christmas, really. So, books I feel I need to have in my life. Because at the moment, of course, I'm at university, that costs a lot of money. I can't afford to buy books, which is lucky that I've got so many I need to read. So, moving on. Book number one is Gone by Michael Grant, which is the number one book that everyone says to me, I've got to go read. And I still haven't. And I've got the ones with covers like this. So I want to try and get at least the first one done Ooh. over Christmas. And all these books are sort of like darkish themed because, you know, it's Christmas. You don't want to be reading like chick -y stuff. Next one is a book that everyone has read and you don't hear anything about it anymore because everyone has read it. Everyone has read the whole series and I have not even started the first one. And that is Nightshade by Angela Andrea Kramer, which I think... I just, I don't know, werewolves don't um, appeal to me as much as some other creatures, so other supernatural creatures, so I just think I've just not got to it. So I'm trying to make this video quite short as well because ugh, it just takes ages otherwise, because God knows, you all know I like to ramble. Oh, and thank you for all, um, for everyone sticking by me while I've not been uploading. 
And for you new people, hello and welcome. This is me waving. It's quite difficult to do with that arm. I don't know why I didn't do it with the other arm. Next book is, I know, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. First book in the Infernal Devices, and it's still got the price on there. And I've just, I've even got, I've got Clockwork Prints over there, and I've just not got to it. I read the, um, the latest one in the Mortal Instruments, which I can't remember what it's called, so someone tell me down below, because... Oh no, I, I just can't think what it's called. I don't have it here. I read it when I was in uni when I was up at university. So I just I just need to get to these books. I just need to. It will fill in. I really enjoy the fifth more instruments. So these will hopefully fill in a gap between waiting for the next one to be of the next more instruments to be out. So I need to get to these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take care of this part. I'll put them back on the floor. Next is... I've really all read this one as well. See, these are why I need to read these books, because I just need to get to them. They have been sat on my shelf, some of them, for almost a year. Some of them over a year. And I just need to read them. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I know. I know. I oh, know I need to read this book and I have not. It's heartbreaking. I'm disappointed in myself. But hopefully soon I will get to it and tell you all what I thought about it. Probably that was fantastic judging from everyone's raves on it. I think also I'm a big, big fantasy lover but sci it's, it's sci-fi and sci-fi is not really I'm not as big on science fiction as I am on fantasy so I think that's why I've not got to that one next is a second book in a series of a series that everyone has read but I have read the first one so improvement to some of the, to the rest of the books that I've showed you and that is Linger by Maggie Steve Forter I just need, just need me to read it basically, you know. I really, I, I enjoyed the, the first one. Took me a little while to get into, but I really enjoyed it, and I want to find out what happens with Grace and Sam, because you know it left on a bit of a cliffhanger. I was like, oh, what's gonna happen? You know, you know. Next is a book I really want to read because I think the film's coming out or it might have come out. I can't remember. But that is Blood Red Road by Moira Young. And yeah, there's not really much more to say about it. I want to read it because because and all these books, if if in the comments you you know, wanna leave me something saying they're good or they're bad, your opinions. I wanna read your opinions on it, but don't spoil them for me. You know? I say you know a lot and I just know I do. Next one also coming out to be a film. And I've just, I've had this for so long, and I just need to read it. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. We all know it. And I just need to read it, because I actually, I did like Twilight, I'm not going to lie. I hated it when, it, I hate the films, but I love the books, just for the cheapness of reading. So hopefully, tell especially this, tell me what you all thought of the host. I want to know your opinions. And next and finally are my two books that I feel that I just have to read for Christmas. And they're both massive series. So I probably won't get through them all over Christmas. Well, there's no chance in hell. But i just like to see how many I get through and stuff. First one, of course, is Harry Potter. And the Philosopher's Stone. I've just, I started this last night, and I'm like halfway through already, you know. But J.K. Rowling, of course, has been done. My issue is so it's really beat up, and but I love it. So yeah, and the next one is another book that I just love to read around Christmas time, even though they're so depressing. And that is 
the Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events series. I love these books. And I think Christmas time is books is a time that you have to read all you have to read books that remind you of your childhood and thing and these are the sort of books that I will read on Christmas Eve to try and get me to sleep rather than reading, you know, young adult as such. So yes, those are books that I need to read or I suppose it could sort of be a TBR over Christmas sort of thing. Though I don't think I'll probably get to all of these. But yes, so this has been Chelsea from Bookie Book Book. Like I said, my next video will be a books I need in my life right now. Um, so yeah, so I am back. It won't be, you know, don't think I'm going to be uploading every day or anything. But it should be more frequent than what has been recently. And this has been Bookie Book Book, out. Thank you for your subscriptions.